and then in 1998 I started going out to Poland. I was invited to go to a sculpture symposium and, uh, and I've made several stone carvings out there over a sort of three week period. Um, all I have to do is basically pay for my flight and then they put you up in a hotel, feed you, water you. Um, and then this is one of the pieces I made, I, th I think it was 01. And this is sited in a town called Libyanche, which is um, which is about three miles away from Auschwitz, or Auschwitz, Oz which is where Auschwitz is. And the town basically wanted this on a roundabout, so when people come from Auschwitz, they they're sort of cheered up again because it is quite a heavy place. So I've been there a few times. Um, and at first, you know, I thought, well, no, that might be a bit flippant, but, but it does, you know, like the feedback I've had since is that, you know, people are sort of lifted a little bit, you know, back to normality sort of thing. Um, this is another piece I've made in, in Poland, and it's based on uh, a sort of Welsh love spoon idea, you know, courtship rituals. Um, this one is the... Ukrainian ritual which is basically when people get married they put a carpet outside the church and then the first person to step on it becomes master of the house so um, I, I was imagining all these fights happening after <laughs> weddings and, but, but basically this is my footprint and then my, um, my partner's footprint Justine so we're equal <laughs> Um, and then in 2003, I, I moved up to West Wales, um, which is quite a big change from Peckham. Um, and it was, I was basically doing, you know, continuing the ideas that I started in Peckham. Um, I, you know, going on walks, I, I found a, there was a massive coping stone missing from a bridge. So I basically made that piece out of wood put it in place and then carve the salmon on the top because it's a, a big salmon river. Um, I left it there for probably a week and then I went back and the coping stone had been replaced but my, my thing had just been put on the floor, hadn't been taken away by the council. So I basically collected it and I've still got that. And then on the same bridge I, I made this without permission. You know, all of this is without any official permission at all. <coughs> so it's just me going out in the world and doing stuff. Which I think sometimes you, you have to do, you have to be bold, you know, you have to <laughs> get your stuff out there. And I basically made that, that's about five metres across the actual smile. And I hung that from this bridge just to make it into a smiling bridge. and. Again, it kind of lifted everybody in the area, you know, loads of... And I do all this sort of anonymously. I just call myself the virus, but I'm, I'm like the good virus. <laughs> um, so nobody, act, you know, you know, I've shown you here, and I show different people, but officially nobody knows who does it. And then I made a... I started making films you know, to document my, um, my activities. Um, so, so, so this was, they're just stills from the film of the installation of it. Is that on a, your website, is it? No, no, not at the moment. I'm still In building my <laughs> website, <laughs> constantly building the website. Um, and then I did, you know, there's a similar thing in Cardiff. I, I just sort of spent the day walking around Cardiff. There's loads of, loads of things have been vandalised. So I made these, and this is in Butte Street, right near the assembly buildings in Cardiff. Um, and again, I, I've done all this anonymously, and uh, and these things are still there now. And that was six years ago. I and this was just up the road on the same street. But it doesn't really, you know, I love Peckham, 
has got a nice ring to it. I love Cardiff hasn't got a nice ring to it. <laughs> Nobody cares about Cardiff. <coughs> <laughs> um, and then another piece, with, which is basically a film, I made, I got a piece of slate and carved the word fear into it. And I think it was just after the 7 7 attacks in, it was at 06, wasn't it? Was it 05, 06? I, um, I basically had a flight case, put that inside it, and then I just walked around London with this flight case because everybody was paranoid at that time. And, and I just thought, well, if people come up to me and ask me what's in there, I'll say, well, there's fear in there. You know, the unknown in, in a box. And a couple of people asked me, um, and I just opened it up and showed them, and they laughed, which was the reaction I wanted, <laughs> just to sort of dispel that kind of paranoia and fear. Um, and, yeah, that, that was 06, and that video I haven't shown anybody. So... Uh, And then at the, about the same time, I went back to that same bridge where I did the smile um, and I carved fear on an enormous piece of slate that was probably this big, I could barely lift it. And then I dropped it off, off the bridge and filmed that um, and that made an enormous splash. And it was great, it was just one of those sort of, I don't know, sort of cathartic thing just to, you know, let go of it. And, and so it's all gone. <laughs> um, and then <coughs> in Wales, I, I, I started, I, I, I moved to an area which is like four miles from the nearest shop. And it's 20 miles from the nearest supermarket. Um, but basically, we get loads of low flying jets coming over our house, about sort of, you know, 30 feet over the house. And so I just got a load of old carpet from a marquee company and just, just did shh in carpet and put it, put it over the field just as a kind of futile attempt to tell them to shut up. Which kind of, that led on to, um, le led on to an exhibition that, that I had in the Oriel Mervyn Gallery in Carmarthen. And I, I got my first Arts Council grant to develop my own work, which was fantastic. They gave me £12,000, and that kept me going for six months, and I made loads of different pieces. Um, and it was all based around low flying. So this is a, a sheep that's like 50 feet that way and 50 feet that way, even though it looks quite small on the hillside. And it's basically a sheep looking up you know, being sort of frightened by the jets. And then later on I put a, an actual jet above so people got the message of, you know, that's what it's looking at. Um, I also made a, a tornado ejector seat out of stone and that was in the gallery. So it's kind of like a, you know, I quite like the idea that, that an ejector seat wouldn't be made out of stone because it would just plummet towards the earth. So there's all that kind of different layers of meaning put into things. And I also made a, this fills the whole gallery. It's, that jet is probably about as big as this whole room. Um, and I made it out of uh, a metal frame with polystyrene um, and then covered it in local sheep's wool. So it kind of it's like it's something that's really dangerous and horrible, but it looks like a kid's toy at the same time. So there's a, and it also refers to the you know frightening sheep and that sort of thing. Yeah, so that was quite a large piece, and now that is just in my workshop. I haven't shown it anywhere else since. Um, but basically, I've, you know, over the years, just to survive as an artist, I've had to do all different sorts of jobs, and I've made, you know, quite large, you know, my carving skills. I've, I've used big bits of polystyrene and, and made uh, made things for theatres in the West End. Uh, you know, plays, opera, 
that sort of thing, and that's where I get my kind of bread and butter money to carry on my own work. So, you know, that, there's a lot of sort of transferable skills, you know, that you're going to learn here that you can apply to all sorts of different things, you know, in your survival strategy into the future. <laughs> um, and an, another piece I made was a, a, the piece of carpet I cut out the jet from that's above the sheep. I basically wanted, wanted some sort of natural revenge. So, I, so the piece I cut out, that was like a stencil, <coughs> so I put that on, on the ground and then just put bread, bread crumbs and scattered them all over. And then all the local pigeons ate the jet, basically. And then I filmed that. 